Mexico is a fascinating country with warm people, significant history, rich culture, and of course, the world-class cuisine. Here are some interesting facts about Mexico that may inspire your next vacation. Let's dig in. Hello and welcome to Lifestyle Peak, where subscribers get loads of inspiration, entertainment, education, and fun. You may also want to like and subscribe, and please comment below to let us know what you think. Here we go. 1. Mexican cuisine is officially world cultural heritage. Mexican cuisine is some of the best in the world. Renowned for its bold flavors, fresh ingredients, and wide variety, Mexican is one of the cuisines in the world considered intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO. Enchiladas, tortillas, and tacos are typical Mexican dishes and very popular in Mexico. The main staple food is corn and rice, fruits, and vegetables, chicken, pork, beef, lamb and along the coastal regions, seafood as well. Chili peppers are usually among the main ingredients in many Mexican dishes. One dish many of you will think of is chili con carne, a dish with spicy mincemeat and kidney beans but this is not really a Mexican dish, but only a Mexican style dish. 2. Mexico was the first to use tomatoes as food. Around the mid-1500s, tomatoes were introduced into Spanish and Italian cuisine. The word tomato is derived from the Nahuatl word, tomato. 3. Majority of the population are mestizos. Over 60% of the population is made up of mestizos, which means they have a mix of Native American and Spanish blood. Approximately 30% are Amerindian, under 10% are Caucasian, and 1% are another ethnicity. Mexicans are known to be friendly and welcoming with a strong sense of tradition and faith. 4. Family and community play a significant role in the culture where elders are given high regard. 5. The people of Mexico are easygoing with a unique sense of humor. Mexicans enjoy laughter and smiling, even in difficult times. 6. Mexico is the 10th most populous country in the world. 7. Dahlia is the national flower of Mexico. 8. Mexico is a big-time Coca-Cola consumer. Mexico is the world's biggest consumer of Coca-Cola, with the highest consumption per capita. 118 million locals drink over 160 liters of Coca-Cola each per year, equaling about half a liter every day. This consumption rate is not seen in any other country in the world. 9. Mexico is likewise the largest consumer of bottled water in the world. 10. Mexico is the largest beer exporter in the world. The nation houses a $3.8 billion beer industry. 11. There is a town called Calexico in California near the U.S.-Mexico border, and there is a town called Mexicali on the other side of the border in Mexico. 12. There is only one gun store in the entire country, located in Mexico City. Yes, there is only one gun store in the entire country, located in Mexico City, and it is operated by the military. The country has some of the strictest firearm regulations in the world. To buy a weapon, citizens must submit references and subject themselves to background checks, fingerprinting, and being photographed, among other steps. Then and only then are they allowed to buy a single gun, and a single box of bullets. 13. The subway system in Mexico is the cheapest in the world at 5 pesos per journey. It is also the largest in Latin America spanning 12 lines across 140 miles and utilized by over 7 million people each day. This is a great way of getting around the country. 14. Mexico is LGBTQ plus friendly. Same-sex marriage and same-sex adoption are both legal in Mexico. Mexico has marketed itself as a gay-friendly destination, with Mexico City as a front-runner, in spite of its strong ties to the Roman Catholic Church that supposedly made the country lean towards the conservative side. 15. Mexico is located on the North American continent and shares borders with the USA in the north and Belize and Guatemala in the south. 16. The climate varies from tropical climate to desert climate. 17. Mexico has four time zones. 18. The meteorite that wiped out dinosaurs struck Mexico. Yes, 
The meteorite responsible for the extinction of the dinosaurs landed in Mexico, near the town of Xixalab, in the Yucatan Peninsula, you will find the remains of a massive crater, 150 kilometers in diameter, that was formed when an asteroid collided with our planet around 66 million years ago. It is widely accepted that this event affected the climate to such an extent that over 75% of the plant and animal life on Earth went extinct. 19. The Day of the Dead of what Mexicans call Dia de los Muertos is both a celebration of life and a remembrance of loved ones that have passed. The three-day celebration begins on October 31st each year. Before the Spanish colonization it was celebrated in the summer, but now it falls around the same time as Halloween. This event is meant to be both happy and sad festivities. Weeks prior to the main event, colorful ofrendas, or shrines, are placed in homes and around the towns as a means honoring the deceased. Graveyards are lit up with candles and music. You will also see street parades and parties. 20. Mexico City is the second city of the world with the largest number of museums. A remarkable number of over 170 museums may be visited in Mexico City. This makes it the second largest city in the world in terms of museums, next to London with 200 museums. 21. Mexico was under Spanish control for over 300 years. Under the rule of Spain, Mexico was known as New Spain. 22. Mexico officially became a country in 1821. Formerly part of New Spain, Mexico gained independence after a long, bloody war against its colonial overlords to become the first Mexican Empire. It then became the first Mexican Republic in 1824. Today, it's the United Mexican States. 23. Mexican Independence Day is celebrated on September 16. Independence Day, Dia de la Independencia or El Grito de Dolores, is celebrated on September 16. Celebrations begin with a ceremony acknowledging the shout of Dolores in 1810, which paved way to the War of Independence. This is then followed by a celebration, festivities, fireworks, music, and dancing followed by a parade in most of the main cities. 24. The oldest university in North America is in Mexico. It's called the National University of Mexico, founded in 1551 by Charles V of Spain. It was called Real Y Pontificia Universidad de Mexico and operated until 1865. Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico, established in 1910, traces its origins to the university. 25. Mexico City is the oldest city in North America. The city was built by the Spaniards on the ancient ruins of the Aztec city of Tenochtitlan. 26. There are 64 different varieties of corn in Mexico. No other country in the world can claim such diversity. Mexicans have cultivated this important crop for centuries and despite threats from international trade agreements and genetically modified imports, farmers continue the tradition of growing corn, collecting seeds, and preserving varieties for the next generations to come. 27. Mexican children don't get gifts on Christmas Day. Instead of December 25th, children get their presents on January 6th the day referred to as El Dia de Reyes, commemorating Three Kings Day or arrival of the Three Wise Men. According to tradition, this is when the Three Wise Men gave baby Jesus his gold, frankincense, and myrrh. 28. The Christmas season lasts for almost a month until January. Many celebrate the posadas or nightly celebrations symbolizing the journey to Bethlehem throughout the month. 29. There are 68 indigenous languages spoken in Mexico. Spanish is the language used for most commercial and all governmental business in Mexico, although Mexican law recognizes 68 official indigenous languages in the country. 30. No one knows what Mexico means. No one agrees on the etymology. Some people say it means place where the god of war lives, others say it means at the navel of the moon. 31. Mexico is a real melting pot. Over that lengthy period when Mexico was a colony of Spain for over 300 years, not only Spanish, but other Europeans, as well as African slaves, joined the population of already differing native ethnic groups. 32. Mexican Spanish has more Arabic words than Spain's Spanish. Mexico's Arabic heritage can be traced back to the Moors, the North African Muslims who invaded Spain in 711 and ruled for almost 800 years. 4,000 Spanish words are Arabic in origin. 
Mexico's Arabic heritage is still alive in the customs and language of the country. The Spanish spoken in Mexico retained Arabic influence and can be seen today. 33. Mexico is the second fattest country in the world. Over 33% of Mexicans are classified as obese with 70% considered overweight. 34. Mexico is the fourth largest nation in the Americas. Mexico is pretty big. It covers an area of 2 million square kilometers. Mexico is actually the third largest country in Latin America, after Brazil and Argentina. 35. Mexican society is characterized by extremes of wealth and poverty. The country has a limited number of middle class, wedged between an elite cotter of landowners and investors on the one hand, and masses of rural and urban poor on the other. 36. The U.S.-Mexico border is the second longest border in the world between two countries. It's second to the vast line that splits Canada from the United States. The U.S.-Mexico border is 3,145 kilometers long to be exact. The border between Mexico and USA is the busiest and most frequently crossed international border in the world. It is estimated that over 350 million people make this border crossing each year. 37. Mountains cover much of Mexico. The country's landscape is diverse, comprising mountains, jungles, deserts, plains and plateaus. A small mountain range on the central plateau is surrounded by the Sierra Madre Oriental mountain range in the east and the Sierra Madre Occidental in the west. 38. Mexican silver pesos were the first global currency. 39. The Mexican flag is very symbolic. The official Mexican flag was adopted in the year 1968, representing the founding of the Aztec Empire. The colors of the Mexican flag stand for independence, unity, and religion. The coat of arms, an eagle on a cactus with a snake hanging from its mouth is centered in the middle of the flag on the white stripe. 41. Religion in Mexico Mexico is politically liberal, welcoming all faiths, beliefs, and religions. Mexico has the second highest number of Catholics in the world, after Brazil. 81% of adults in the country identify as Roman Catholic. Roman Catholicism was introduced by the Spanish colonists. La Virgen de Guadalupe or Virgin of Guadalupe is considered the patron saint of Mexico. 42. The Villa de Guadalupe is the most visited Catholic site in the world, next to the Vatican in Rome. It is viewed as the mother of all Mexicans. 43. Mexico has one of the most diverse traditional musical culture in the world or at least in Latin America. Mariachi is a traditional Mexican music and a fundamental element of Mexican culture. Mariachi is the first thing that comes to mind when one thinks of Mexican music. Mariachis are the popular musicians who play folk music. They mainly use string instruments, but also trumpets are sometimes played. This country is home to at least a tenth of the world's biodiversity. That's around or more than 200,000 different species roaming around all the diverse ecosystems that Mexico has to offer. This includes jaguars, pumas, and huge iguanas, various types of lizards, monkeys, and colorful birds such as parrots. Whales, manta rays, and manatees are common in the oceans. This makes Mexico the fourth most biodiverse country in the world. 45. Mexico's main trading partner is the USA, which is the most important partner for exports. China and Japan are Mexico's biggest import partners. 46. The main exports from Mexico are corn, oil, fruits, and vegetables, silver, coffee, cotton. 47. All beaches in Mexico are public. All beaches, including Cancun, Acapulco, Tulum, Los Cabo are all under federal ownership and can be used by anybody. 48. Chihuahuas are named after the Mexican state of the same name. 49. Mexico is the world's largest Spanish-speaking country. 50. Texas was part of Mexico. This just gives you an inkling as to how big Mexico really was. Formerly the Mexican state of Coahuila y Tejas, Texas declared its independence after a revolution in 1836, and was granted U.S. statehood in 1845. There you go lifestyle peekers, thank you so much for watching. Give us a like and please click the notification bell so you can be notified and never miss any of our new videos. Bless and be blessed.